I, l- I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. Yep, Charlemagne the God here. Yup, hands on me and knees on my thought chat. Hey, we are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and uh, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Let's go, baby. Doodoo Herm is here. Big wax. In the building. We are here. Another episode. Another week of brilliant idiotness. Do you ever wear glasses while you uh, do radio or a pod? Nah, I might have to. I might need glasses. I'm at that age where I might need glasses. I definitely gotta get braces to see. Damn, how you get braces? Why are you getting braces? Late? You're faithful. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife likes because, you. This be, is yeah, but it's for other reasons. It's not even just cosmetic. Like uh oh, impacted. like I do this a lot, and I've always done it. And like yeah. my dentist would say, because crazy enough, I hadn't gone to the dentist in like two years. Respect. I forgot, yeah. bro. Respect. Well, I mean, you know it was, what I'm it was COVID. Yeah, yeah, it was COVID. It's supposed and, to keep your mouth shut. And like, then once we got back into 2021, it was like learning to walk again. I wasn't thinking about shit like the dentist. And mm-hmm. then like my wife hit me one day. She's like, yo, your breath stinks. Wow. That's why you got to have a real one around you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I was like, shit. I thought about it. I was like, yo, I ain't have my teeth cleaned in fuck two years. Mm. So I went to the dentist uh, like a week and a half ago. And my shit was fucked Wolfing. up. Yuck mouth. Wow. Yucky. Nasty. Wow. Fuck. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. How many yeah, times you stuff. brush your teeth a day? Like three. Three. Yeah. Flaw, but it's, it, don't, it don't matter. You got to get your, your shit clean. You got to get it done. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, so I got my shit clean. And then um, I've been supposed to get braces because, like, the way my jaw is, I'll keep clicking my, and that mm. can lead to, she said TMJ or some shit like that. Mm. I forgot what the fuck it's yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna get I'm getting braces in the next couple of weeks actually. Too much jaw. Too much jaw. I'm gonna get the clear joints though. And it makes you think though, like I know some of y'all teeth is fucked up. Like there's people we know and they breath stink and like Ooh, you think it's we know they ain't teeth. been to the dentist. Like when the last time y'all been to the dentist? No, I see. What was the, the guy who's a, he's a very sweet guy, but he wrote the article about you? Who? For I think the Times or something like that. Oh, uh, damn, my guy. Ah, uh, I can't remember my guy. He just old though. That don't count. I mean, his breath smelled. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, crazy, bro. It was wild. He was the sweetest guy. It was fun. I'm glad he hung around. Yeah. But like when in the elevator, it would get close and it was yeah. just like breathing in a fucking When you that Timberland. old, it don't matter though. Huh? When you that old and you got a big mustache. Maybe it was yeah. the stash. Maybe shit was getting caught in the stash yeah. and just rotting. I can see that. Yeah. And he yeah. tall too though. Yeah. So for me, he got, I don't catch that. Oh, it was going right <laughs> to my <laughs> nose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my nose catches everything. When did I take to the dentist? Um, shit. You didn't even get your teeth clean for your wedding? No, I did. And I okay. got my, I actually go to the uh, dentist quite, not, I'm going to say frequently, yeah. but like I have a, a buddy who's a dentist. So. Well, that's how you've been, Wax. It's about the same, like two years. It's been my a while. God. Hmm. Yeah, I'm keeping it real. What the fuck you want me to do? I remember one back in the day. This guy told the girl. She already told me. This I did not great. tell her that. Right. You know, there's a lot of things that Charlotte did <laughs> that I would never let him know. Because I want him to think he got me so he could like leave that chapter alone. <laughs> so he'll try to do something and I won't never let him know that I know the person that did it. Because everybody fuck with me too. Whatever, whatever. Go ahead. Let him tell her. He, no. He want to. He want to. Home girl, so one of my homegirls. Yeah. Home girl pull wax to the side and she kept it real with him. She was just like, yo, I think you need a root canal. <laughs> she told her the fuck they said. She called me right away like, I'm sorry, but Carla May told me to say it. I said, I know. Who I is Carla May? Carla May. Wow. Who the fuck is Carla May? What's on your brain? What is on your brain? That was one hell of a pivot. Wow. Wow. Okay. Carla May. We call that a Freudian slip. Word is born. Who is Carla May? Yeah, who is Carla May? What would you... Does that mean like your main is Carla? I... I think that makes sense. That makes sense, right? That yes. makes sense. What would you call Carla Mae for short? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Shout Zeke. out to Carla Maine. Yeah, real talk, Carla Maine. If you're listening, <laughs> just know someone's thinking about Somebody you. Somebody can't get you off the brain. Cannot at wow. all. Wow. Great. Wow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Carla Maine. That <laughs> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That means that means I got something for this yeah, one. That's hey, man. One. We ain't been here five minutes. We got the name of the new podcast this week. <laughs> I don't care if we don't talk about it no more this episode. I guarantee you when it comes out, it's going to say Newberry News, mm. Carla Maine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> With a question mark. God bless. How was y'all week, though? Good, us. good. I was in the city. I got to stay home. Oh, you did. You I had, had the weekend days off. off. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, I hung out with the wife, was, man. Cool. You miss New York? I miss, I, I do miss free time. Where like, you know, I'm I'm so fortunate that like I get to do what I love, but at the mm-hmm. same time, you miss you miss free time. Did you hit any of the club? Did you go to like the New York comedy club? Nah, did nah, I did oh, nothing. I said I'm off. taking a week off. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So wow. this week I get back into nice. it, but I wanted the week off. Just hung out with the wife, went out to dinners. My wife ran the half marathon, so rooted her on for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it yeah. was good. I felt like a civilian, man. Oh, man. I saw uh, I saw flagrant too, um, where. You, you declared that you're going to be in the, your what the women's Olympic team? I retired though. Oh, you yeah. retired already. I was going to be a, a U.S. women's national uh, swimmer. Yeah, but I did retire. I'm happy yeah. you got some more. Yeah, That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, How it, do you feel about that? I think it's. I, I always thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> I still think it's even more ridiculous now. I'm just shocked that. Now people are starting to say it's ridiculous. Yeah. And there's no backlash for saying it's ridiculous. It's But it's been ridiculous. Yeah. I, I guess you needed a Mike Tyson to go to women's boxing, and then you would say it's ridiculous. To really make but it. But uh, we've seen an MMA fighter, yeah. a, a, a trans yeah. MMA fighter crack a woman's skull. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, it's not come really on. Cool at all. Yeah, there's an advantage. I think there's there's a clear advantage. I think that's that's the issue. And uh, though, you know what's interesting, though, is like when trans athletes tra- uh, transition from from male to female, I'm like so convinced that that is how they identify as women because imagine you dedicated your whole life to one thing, which is your sport, mm-hmm. and then you started taking hormones and shit that made you worse at your sport. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, I love comedy way too much. Like, yeah. I couldn't yeah. transition to being a female comic and be less funny. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree. Yeah. I'm, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's alley or shots. I, 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 I just couldn't do it. I, I, some, and I think that's the I only. I couldn't do it. I think that's I one of the places where I have to stay here. I don't I think there's no advantage to that. The comedy, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, there is no advantage to that. Yeah, I know some funny yeah. female comics, yeah, some hilarious ones. Yeah, I know some terrible male ones, and yes. I know some terrible female ones. Yes, yeah. funny is just funny. Yes, that's true. That's true. The swimming thing is interesting because. When he, when she was competing as a man, she was like really low ranked, right? Actually, no, she was, uh, when she was competing as a man, she was, she was, she was good. Like she was good within the Ivy League thing. I thought she, I thought like, I, she played, I thought I read when she was ranked really low. I think she, they had her ranking like worldwide ranking like 456, but within the Ivy League tournaments, yeah, 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 she yeah. was capable. So like she, yeah. she swam for the Penn team. So it must be yeah. like a thousand people for something is good. I don't, I don't know exactly. I don't yeah. know if that's global. I don't know what the number is, but like yeah. she swam for the team. Like you have to be very good to swim for yeah. a college D1. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah you can't be whack. Like, yeah. uh-huh. so I mean, listen, I just think it's ridiculous, but here's the thing. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight against it. It's really up to women. It's up to women. Where does Bond? If y'all are cool with it, but that's the thing about like dudes. Like dudes never cared about women's sports usually. Uh, And uh, it's really up to women. And if women aren't saying shit about it, hey, who are we to come in? the, The only time I get upset, and it's not even upset, I see people complaining about. Things like scholarships getting taken away, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Prize money, things of that nature, you know. Um, and so, ladies, speak up. I don't think equality means. Uh, I don't think equality means erasure, right? What does that mean? Yeah, like, if 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 all things are equal, right? If you're if, if you're saying, okay, you know, uh, trans women should be able to compete because that's um, equality, equality mm-hmm. or uh, inclusion, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But what if by women are being erased because of this inclusion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Oh, because I there may be some type of physical advantage. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, so it clearly is a physical It clearly advantage. is. Yeah. So, if, so if women are being erased, you know, because of uh, inclusion, is that really inclusion? Is that no. equality? 
And and what they'll say is that like she followed all the rules. Like she did everything the NCAA requires, but there's still an advantage. So they don't have the system sure. down to like get her uh, to the point where she can compete against these people yeah. on an equal, uh, these women on an equal playing field. But the thing that's interesting to me is that like you can compete against the guys. There's no rule that says women can't compete against guys. There's mm-hmm. only a rule that says men can't compete against women because men have certain biological and physical yes. advantages. That's why women's sports exist. Yes. Literally, women's sports exist because they wouldn't be allowed to compete at all because they're not physically gifted enough to compete against I feel, men I feel bad in, when in it, most sports. Yeah, I felt bad when I had a couple of girls try to do football. You know what I'm saying? I just wouldn't hit them. I'm like, yo, bro, yeah. I'm not hitting That happened? Hell yeah. Wait, yeah every year. Every year we get like a girl or something like that want to come on. Yeah. And I'm not hitting At Benedict? Them. No, at, when I was in high school. <laughs> oh. I, I, did we have a girl at Benedict? Oh, we had the white boy that came. They you know all black college. The white boy, he was like, yeah. okay, he was good. And, um. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Do you, you consider him a girl? <laughs> That's what? crazy, bro. That's hey, he's like, he's crazy, dog. But the girl, <laughs> they had a come <laughs> on, dude. That's racist. Yo. Like, so I, feel, I feel I feel white racist. chickens are offended. Yeah, out of this whole conversation, <laughs> that's who we'll get backlash from. White kickers. <laughs> you equate nah, white kickers really to women? No, no, no. He, he was really good. He's our kicker. But um, now nah, when, when she tried to come for high school. We was all looking around like, who's going to hit her? Because she tried to play running back. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, no, you can't do that. I, yeah. can't, I said, whoever hit her, yeah, you, you fucked up. Yeah, you're yeah. Yeah, wrong. I, I guess what I'm just trying to say is like, you could compete with the men because you already were on the team. You can transition into a woman, identify as a woman. And there's no rule that says that that woman can't also compete against the men. So yeah. identify as a woman, do anything that you want as a woman, but just keep swimming against the men. Yeah. Uh, right? Like, now, granted, she, her, she probably became a slower swimmer because she's taken these testosterone blockers and that kind of stuff, so maybe she couldn't keep her seat on the team or whatever it is, but, like, I don't know. It's just the only reason women's sports exists is because they can't compete against biological men. But is that yeah. okay? Because so she's altering her body, though, right? Say again? Regardless of she's altering her body to make herself weaker or stronger, you're still altering your body. How you I, just, I, I, I would like to know, and I don't know if this can be scientifically proven, mm-hmm. how much weaker does it actually make you? What, uh, taking a... Uh, estrogen. Estrogen or testosterone, or testosterone, testosterone blockers. Yeah, like yeah, testosterone yeah. blockers. How much, how much weaker does it actually make I'm you? I'm sure the science has figured it out, but yeah. like, I think there's probably like base strength that you have and there's a, also like a bone density difference that yeah. like, there's just certain advantages. Like, we know there's certain advantages that men have. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, i never seen a woman like offer to put someone's luggage in the overhead bin. <laughs> never. Right? Like, yeah. it's always a guy By that way, does it. Women don't take that no more. Oh, really? No. We get a little upset. Like, Every time we yeah. be on the air, but I, I, right. and it's to the point where it's like, yeah. I'm I'm torn because I want to ask, but I've gotten so much pushback offended, that it's yeah. like, I don't want nobody to get offended because I'm not trying to offend you. Every last yeah. week just, that happened. I was like, you want to No, I got it. I got I'm it. Like, I got it. I'm like, that. If It yes, depends. Man. If I have a connecting flight, I don't even ask. I just take their shit. The only people that let you do it is older women. Yes. The yes. Older, older women. Older women, women let you do it. they're grandfathered into it. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, older women, will, once the flight is over, if you help them on it, they expect they you to help them, them on right back for it. Down. I got you. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm, Thank I'm you, with young that. man. I yeah. can't wait to do that. Yes. I'm with that. I'm with yeah. that. Yeah. Now, yeah. I do yeah. think, and I really mean this, and I'm on record saying this before, one transgender woman per WNBA team. Ooh. I think that makes the league a lot more exciting. Okay, I mean, there's no question. The is already exciting. And it's balanced. There's no but question. It'll make it more exciting. And it's balanced one, because one, one each one. That's right. And, and and I think basketball is a sport where, you know, with that, it's still an even playing field. Yeah. Because it's not like Asia Wilson and them don't be busting ass out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll yeah. they'll yeah. bust your ass on the basketball You're gonna still bust it. I think they still bust their ass regardless. The transition I think so, guy. too. Yeah, for sure. I think I, I, there's plenty of guys I know Asia can beat in a yes, basketball sure. game. Mm. But just one transgender woman Per WNBA team. That would be fire. I think that's fire, yo. Yeah. That's going to bring tickets at least. That's what I'm saying. Cause, Hell yeah. Because I, I, it, it really does, it baffles me when I hear all of these conversations about the pay difference with the WNBA and the NBA when we know it's a, a, a strictly revenue and profit game. Yes. yes. It's really More just that easy. More seats are That's it. So just you, look into the crowd. That's yeah, it. It's okay. So if you want WNBA players to make more money, then we got to start... M- Make, letting the WNBA make more money. Mm. The it's WNBA gimmicks. has to make more money. Mm. You know? Now, is that erasure? Is that taking away? Uh... It's 12 slots. Well, raising one. 
Add a 13th. You know what I mean? And, 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 and add NFL, a slot. Add a slot. The NFL really did add a uh, fucking couple of games. Add a slot. That's true. Add yeah. a player, one transgender woman per team. Mm. I think that's dope. I think that'll make the league a lot. And it'll make the league very interesting. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, everybody's talking about female swimming. So so six people like, on the court? Nobody never has ever cared about women's word swimming. Word is born, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, ain't never, I didn't even think about that until you said no, it. I mean, yeah. trans are great for <laughs> sports. Women's sports. Sports in general. Well, well, you know if, what? If That's there was a, if no, there was a right. woman who was born a woman and then transitioned into a man and, and played football, she was beating man. the shit out of dudes. Yeah. You don't think oh, we'd be talking hell, about that yeah. nonstop? Well, well, yeah. She's a crazy running back with the... Oh, Fire. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Fire. No, you're right. <sighs> trans are no, great for you're sports. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I love that. I actually am waiting for the biological woman who transitioned into a man to dominate men. That's the hero's journey. Wow. That's every Pixar movie. You know what's they they kind of dominate us every day, though. You know Real talk. Yeah. They, they, it's still they a, do a physical. There's still yeah. a patriarchy, right? I don't know what that, that is. I tell you, of course. <laughs> that ended. <laughs> that ended. <laughs> that that ended. Like <laughs> the patriarchy's done. I'll tell you why there's still a patriarchy. <laughs> why? Because trans women who transition into trans men, I don't even think they get considered, bro. Say what? They don't even get considered. We don't have cons- we don't ever have conversations about trans men. The girl being a man? Never. Yeah. What when, do you mean? When, we see girls become dudes? Women that transition into men don't get any of the benefits of being a man. I mean, I haven't seen it. What are the benefits of being a man? You transition yeah. automatically, you got to pay for shit, open all the yeah. fucking doors, <laughs> child support. In public. Child support. I got <laughs> all the respect for these girls. What the fuck do you want to do that for? You know what I'm saying? I got you all the respect. I saw Come it. on over, yo. No World respect War three? nothing? World War Three starting? You want to transition right now? Don't, That's we, my but, dog. But am I lying? Do we, hear, do we hear conversations about trans men? No, we don't hear, nah. we don't hear enough. We need to hear more. That's what we don't. We laugh. We laugh. We never hear anything. We probably have their, uh, their beard or something like that. Probably get laugh. They got better them. beards than me. I've seen because some of these really girls. Because they shaped up. They're nice. They groomed the right way. They. I need whatever they're on. Testosterones. I need that. Or what's the other thing? Huh? huh? What's the other thing they are? <laughs> Chitlins. <laughs> no, the Whistler. What's the other thing they they taking it um not be testosterone? No, testosterone. Estrogen no. is for oh, women estrogen. and, and yeah, testosterone yeah, yeah, is for men. Yeah. Well, salute to all the trans community. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I do agree. Like, yeah. Yo, yeah. any anytime you put trans in anything, it's popular. Because people pay attention to it. 100%. No, put no, them no, in no. anything. No, nah, you're right. People pay attention to it. No, you're right. Next season of your show. Oh, you think you think you think Big Fliggy Flame ain't gonna be on the show? That's what I'm talking Come about. Come on, man, Flame. That's my the Flame people. got me in trouble, man. Why? From what? You were looking at them thudders? No. <laughs> <laughs> that what you're doing? No, man. She went on the show and just start talking crazy. What what she she talking about uh, about I'm not in a relationship and all this other type well, of shit. Well, stop talking so much. Yeah, you, you do. talk too fucking much. Yeah. So it's me. Yes. Yes. It, how is. Would they, it how, wasn't you. How would Flame? I didn't tell Flame that. How'd she know? Maybe she found out from Carla. She spoke to you. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Flame spoke to you on the way into the building. I didn't tell her that. <laughs> she was telling me about uh, Lunell, but I was like, okay, she know a lot of yeah, information. Yeah, she was like What's Lunell. She was like Lunell. Uh, was gonna be so happy. Wax is single. Ooh. Like, what are you talking Ooh. about? Like, where you get this from? I, oh shit! Well, now that it's out there, I think we should talk about. It. We got to. I think we got to talk, talk about, about it. what? <laughs> well, I mean, we've been teasing it for weeks now, but we got to talk about it. Talk to him, Charla. Why you been wearing the Man? same pants for three weeks in a row? Because um, I don't have nobody at home to feed. <laughs> <laughs> I have nobody at home to feed me. <laughs> Why? Where are you staying now? I'm still staying there. It's so crazy. That you are it's, a it's, homeless it's, sexual. No. It's, <laughs> 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 you know what's crazy, man? Um, it's been a year. And I'm yo, back. Yo, what the yo, fuck? Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> sexual. Yo, that's hilarious, bro. All yeah, these people sleep I'm, on the streets. There are homeless sexuals <laughs> everywhere. They got to do something. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I'm um yeah. no, don't point at me. <laughs> nah, that's on you. Cause you bro. went too far. No, nah. I'm talking about real homeless I'm people. Just saying, I'm just him. Th- th- he's a real homeless. homeless person. Got the nah, same you're pants not really on. homeless. I'm homeless. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm not really homeless. But what um, happened? Talk to us. What happened? Just God bless, man. You know, God put things in your heart and just ask you. We, we, we really not going. Right. We we really gonna do this? God, want you to <laughs> Why you gonna waste direction? your friends' time? What are you talking about? What do you Why want you me to say? Why are you wasting all what, time? What do you want what me to say? Tell us the truth. About what? About, about what? Carlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> about what? 
<laughs> no, I I thought I thought that I was gonna um you know do something in life and um you know I'm I think I'm too old fashioned. I'm an old fashioned guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, There's nothing more old fashioned than marriage. You think so? It might be the oldest institution. But that's what I'm man. saying. When when you marry, you try to get like a traditional thing. You know what I'm saying? When I when I think of marriage, I think of a traditional thing. Mm. And right now, it's not so traditional if you don't have the traditional partner. Kind of feels like you're gaslighting right now. Word is born. I, don't even I definitely. Means. Yo, have you used that on your wife yet? Never. I be throwing that shit out every I'm about to say, I heard that. Gaslighting? Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet, babe, you're that's gaslighting so I do right that to now. my daughter. Ooh. <laughs> but do you have to say no, that? Fu- no, no, she fucked me up the other day. Wait, she was like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> 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 yeah. The only thing I do is say is gassing. Like, you trying to gas me. Yeah. Ga- but oh, who's is that where it lighter? comes from? Duh. Hey, gassing me up. No, gassing me up is... It's like you're bigging you up. It's bigging you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah what's no. gaslighting? Gaslighting is... Honestly, I don't even really know. Now you gaslighting gas is, is when you um, kind of right, yeah. but like it's me. You gas it, me. You try to gas it, me. No, up. it's like you make. I do something to piss you off, and then I make it seem like you were the one that caused me to do it. Gaslighting is a colloquialism. Oh boy, come on! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Colli- colli- What is this? Co- okay, loosely defined Colli- is colli- cost me. Yeah, I can't. Loosely say. defined is making someone colloquial. question their own reality. Yeah. So the term may also be used to describe a person who presents a false narrative so to another me. group or people, which leads them to doubt their perceptions and become misled, disoriented, or distressed. Taylor, I need you to go downstairs to get something for me. Hold on. I'm texting it to you. Um, yeah, gaslighting and gassing is probably the same thing. Maybe, but I want to get back to your marriage. So can we talk about this on a podcast right now? I, I guess so, because I guess Reddit put it out there and all this other type of stuff. Um, yes, the truth is um, I am... Um, a narcissist, and I need. To <laughs> Fuck words. Yeah. We don't care about words here. Thank yeah. you. Okay, <laughs> colloquy yeah. ism. You know what we talking about? Yeah. Nars. Listen, he's a nars. I'm you a know narcissist. what the fuck he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you know what I'm talking I'm about. A yeah. I'm a narcissist. I'm a narcissist, baby. Nars. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm a narcissist, and I'm and I'm fucking. Keep I going. like I like traditional. You know, <laughs> things that I don't think that was just there. And it's all good. Like, don't make nobody a bad person Did the person therapist say you're a narcissist? Um, not really. I, I got diagnosed by her. So and, are you in a relationship currently? Right now, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I just think that... Uh, I don't like this. Me neither, not? Me neither. I Listen, hate this. I, oh, guess what? I hate it, too. I went to your fucking wedding, bro. You don't even know yeah. how down you've been, yo. You think so? Yes, man. You look depressed. You're not moving the same. People have been saying that. Even after yeah. you're sick, word is born. Wow. It's crazy. They've she been asking if he's sick. And you shouldn't live like, yes, ask me if he's sick. Why, because of my pants? I don't know. Why the hell are they asking me? Like, do we go to, do want to come to the gym with me or something and see what's going on? Like, Listen, I think man, I'm okay. I just think we're all at the age where it's time to grow up. It's time nah, to grow up. Nah, How old are you right. going to be this year? I'll be 38, 39 years old. God, can we, can we talk about the scenario that got you here? I'm saying, I just told you. Like, but can I, we nope. have the can we have the actual discussion? His heart beating so fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> listen, I just want to know. He's so fast. Come on. Look, look, look. Go ahead, do it. Go ahead, loosen up. <laughs> Let's go. Listen, Wax on man. the first 48. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> nah, it's just like I said, I, I just, you know. You're I'm traditional, up a lot man. Of excuses. No, you're not. I'm traditional. You just didn't want to get married. That's not true. That's not true. Wax. You can't put that Tell out the there. Truth. Is it true Listen, that you I didn't want to get I married? I would not have put out. I put. I wouldn't have put that out there uh, if I didn't want to do That's it. That's not true. We all make choices. Like it's a decision. You made one choice. You thought you wanted to do something, and you re- you realized that wasn't you. Mm. You weren't no, ready. No, no, mm. no, no, you no. Weren't ready. That was me because that is me. You no, know what I'm saying you are a natural born tramp. What? It's the truth. Wait, a natural born I thought what? he was serious. How oh, you going to ask about tramp. this? I thought he was being serious. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm going to so be honest with you. I don't think it's in your nature. That's so fucked up. No, I just I don't. I think it's in your nature, and I think that you I were doing great. Us. And I Come think that on. you overreacted to a, a piece of stimulus. I, I what? I don't know about overreacting. You got to take it easy because you got to tell the people what happened. Yeah, just say what happened. It's okay. <laughs> tell the yeah. people. I'm traditional. I like that. What does tradition. that mean? I, 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 I want, listen, that means I want to come home. I want to come home to a wife, to cook meal, the kids are getting taken care of. Tradition take care isn't of the house. necessarily good. And that's what I'm saying. It's not, see, that's what I'm saying. It's not saying either person is wrong. 
is just not right for the other person. That's it. Yeah, but that's not the reason why. The reason why is something else. The reason you why can share the reason why. I I'm the narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to be I need to go to therapy. Yes, I, you do. I need man. to go to therapy. And I don't I think you're a narcissist, yo. I think that I don't know if narcissists <laughs> the word. I'm not no psychiatrist. And I know some extreme narcissists. <laughs> I don't think you're a narcissist. I do think you are a narcissist. Like, not a whole thing. <laughs> so I agree with you. I do. I agree with you. Like, you're not a whole narcissist. You're like a narcissist. I agree with that. You're not the whole thing. Well, that's what I was told. And I take it. Who told you that, Carla? <laughs> yes. Carla, not wrong. But, uh, and I think it's just in relationships. Because you are a very selfless person when it comes to other things. That's true. I think, I think just on, on everything. Just not no way holds up. What you mean? In my relationship, how? Would you like, would you, you like a polygamous relationship? Come on. Words. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> you want, you'd want like four or five women. No, you got I four don't. Or five wives, I don't. Two. No. <laughs> really? I don't. I don't believe you. I, really, on. Listen, I promise you. Words. <laughs> no. God. <laughs> Listen, God, I, I want one. Okay, okay. I want one. This guy. You, 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 you think he's he, he told me, he told me, this I can't This guy. That's who I am around. This way, you should already know. He got four or five lined up. <laughs> this guy. More this big guy. words? No, he no. already got six. I'm just he got, he four, got four in the chamber ready to go. He's just spinning that shit. No, he's he, he, he waiting for me to trip up. Yeah. I don't wow. want you to trip up. All right, go. I do go. not want Wax to trip up. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Me too. And I just know my brother, mm -hmm. he just simply does not want to get married. I thought That's he wanted to get married. True. Me I too. thought he wanted to get married too. I can, we, can we say yeah, what caused the riff? Get... Can we just say what caused the riff? Why you what what happened that made you upset? Um, it's this couple of things. I just didn't think that was should more traditional, you know what I'm saying? But what about the other thing that had nothing to do with tradition? I the... think that's traditional too. I think, you know, all out respect is supposed to be, you know, for um the man. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's you it's thought that both. there was a lack of respect. Yes, I thought there was a lack of respect when it comes down to a man. Um, I mean, it's, it's both for women and men. I respect her. I was very submissive, as y'all see. Um, I didn't cheat at all. Yeah, yeah. Just, nobody, one person could say it. I was really Herman, respectful. Herman, was, Herman, was, Herman. I don't know what y'all want this to what say. I, no, this is what I need you to remember. <laughs> no, no, no. This what, no, listen. This is what I need you to remember. You might as well tell the truth. Because Wax about to go wreck it Ralph Carla, on this has, whole a, <laughs> Carla has a podcast. I need to smoke. You need Alex. to tell the truth. Listen, you need <laughs> to tell the truth because Carla can't. has a podcast, bro. Carla got a that. podcast. Right, she's gonna say what no, happened. It's exactly what you she's should gonna say. say she's gonna say that I she I was too traditional and I'm a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she told me. She said, I'm bro, not, you're I'm a narcissist just, and you don't... Why don't we talk about the thing, the one stimulus that we were talking about before the podcast that you felt like it was very offensive um, and you thought like I said, I, broke I, a rule with I, you. You felt disrespected. You felt a little I, I, disrespected. I did, but, you know, I think it's more to do with me being the old-fashioned guy, yeah. you know what I'm saying, <laughs> than her. Why do you keep saying that? Because yeah. I'm an old-fashioned guy. This what one, does that mean? Yeah. Because I, I want you just drive like, a car. You don't ride a horse to work. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You old-fashioned. No, old-fashioned. Like you, you, know, you know the fairy tale life. The 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 man go out to work and and and, and go to have his sweat at his brows, and the woman be home and take care of the household and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It, it just wasn't that all the way. It wasn't wasn't it wasn't that she wasn't taking care of home. It's just that the traditional part, I just didn't have, and I thought that. You know, is she too ambitious for you? Um, you could you could say that. I, I could say she was too ambitious for me. It was me. I promise. We you. We live in a she's society. She's a great woman. You see gas prices. You need more than one income in the house. You respect. So you should respect. be happy that you got a hustler, bro. No, I, I, I was. I was. Um, it's just things just change. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she's a great woman. You know what I'm saying? She'd be. She's really good. But I just. So why don't you guys figure it out? Why don't you guys get back together and um, figure it I, out? I don't think that I was ready to do it because I was like, if that's you, then I don't know if I'm ready for that because I'm looking for this. You see what I'm saying? And that's all it was. It wasn't the arguing. It wasn't like, ah, oh, throwing things out the house. Everything was like nice and cool. You still got the kid and everything is good. So it's all respect. I'm saying I, I can't, I can't like even really say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I really can't say nothing can't bad get rid about of the her. Kid. 
Huh? You can't get rid of the kid. No, no, I can't get rid of the kid. It's just yeah. like, I, I can't really say nothing bad about it. I don't her, like you know? like this, man. Yeah. I like en- I like engaged wax. Me too. Beyonce. Yeah. Me too. Seeing more it, it, stable. it was cool. It was yeah. cool. You're not ready to be out here in your streets, bro. I'm not, I will not go back out in the streets. It's a different world from three years nah, ago. come on. Totally different. I ain't you got lost it. Nothing. Ooh. You lost, you lost it. it dude. I think I probably did. You, you did lost though, dude. It, man. Nah, nah. You lost it. It ain't the same. I can't push it no more. I ain't talking nah, about that. I'm nah, just talking nah, about when nah. it comes to women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, got it. Yeah, you know, yeah. man. Nah, nah. I've oh, seen man. you talk to some girls, and it's really embarrassing, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. one thing I could never do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never had games. Because now you're trying to talk. Because yeah, you used to being in a relationship, he used to doing sweet stuff, so now he's trying, and this yeah, looks like, what are you doing? Yeah. That's corny. I had a corny line the other day for no reason. This guy goes, I'm Romeo, you Juliet, and then he just nods. Like, like <laughs> I, ain't know, I ain't know the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, I thought it, the, the frog they, kissed they both the killed, lady. They both killed themselves. Yeah? Yeah. I thought the frog kissed somebody and it came to life. Nope. To nah, that's the kill in the bee. No, what is that? The kill in the bee is a spelling, spelling bee. Spelling, okay. Then what are you talking about? What is the princess and the frog? That is it. That's the call, right? The princess and the frog? That's the frog prince. Somebody turned into a uh, frog. I'm yeah. Gonna turn a prince. I don't know. Just, just tell her that. Tell her like, yo, you a frog. I want to kiss you and turn you into a prince. Oh. Why would I turn her into a prince? Why not? Yeah. You, you got you to get status. 2022. Real tough. That's your problem. <laughs> That's your problem. <laughs> I like the back of the day. You understand? Yeah, I'm traditional. I'm traditional, I'm traditional. traditional for this shit. <laughs> oh. Nah, again, we can move oh, on, but man. yeah, I, I can't say we can bad move on. You ain't never heard Wax do a segue <laughs> in his life. Now all of a sudden, he knows how to segue. We can move on, you know. But <laughs> yeah, man, God, res- every, everything respect right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I is man. there anything it's, it's that could me. make it so that you guys reconcile? Jesus. I'm saying oh, time, yeah, time, like time do everything. I'm I saying like prayer, prayer and time does everything. I like Who that. knows at the end of the day, it's just my heart wasn't in the right place for me to say, I'm going to go to the next step. And I, I, I tell everybody, if y'all ain't ready to go to the next step, do not do it. Just wait and make sure everything is good. Well, now, now we gotta, get into it. I got to return up. my uh, gift. I had got a great wedding gift for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. I'm saying you yeah. give me some dog food. My dog eat a lot. Yeah. Okay. Stuff like that. Just yeah, little things like that. But now we get into the gist of it. Mm. The gist of it is it's on him. Mm. He's on me. You For simply sure. weren't ready, and it's cool. That's fine. Yeah, but I, I respect that more process. saying I'm not ready than playing with somebody. Yeah, you know and I, mean? I don't play to play with nobody. I could have dogged the out, did some wild ass, corny ass shit, which I was doing back in the day. Mm. Um, I actually showed growth because another somebody back in the day, I would just dogged out and just mess with a bunch of women yeah. and feel like I was the man. That shit. It's still corny though. What you doing is still corny. I, I take it. That's what I'm saying. But, but is it? Is it I respect the corny because it's like you're not playing ah, around. I play around. This still, corny is hurting that person. Yes. The yeah, other I, corny yeah. would have hurt that I still person. wish you would figure it out because I still think that you're overreacting. Yes, I I, I, I would say that too sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But it's, uh, you got to protect your peace at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before I end up be out here shaking and doing crazy stuff like other people do, I don't want to shake. I don't want to have anxiety. I don't want to have all these type of depressions and stuff like that. And it seemed like it's getting more and more out here. Plus, people lying. It's crazy, man. I, I just... You know what I'm saying? What? People lying about being having depression or anxiety just to get out of things. No, no, no. I think... I no. think, I think Charlotte think, gave them all fucking depression. That's what I'm no, saying. He I think, saved them. Uh, no, I think people feel comfortable talking about it. Yeah, they're just recognizing okay. things that yeah. they've already had. But we never knew. I didn't know yeah. what it was until, I didn't know what it was until 10 years ago. Yeah. Yo, you know can I mean? ask y'all a question? Have you seen the movie Inside Out? No. It's a Pixar no. movie. No, it's no. good. I was mid, but like everybody really loves it. I, I wasn't into it. It's good. I I didn't it's think it was mid? that good. Yeah, it was it was all right. Like I thought it was all right, but everybody like absolutely loves it. I've been on this like Pixar kick a little bit lately. I love this shit, bro. And what I mean this sincerely. About? I mean this sincerely. Genius mastermind. <laughs> yes, you never read the book. No. Yeah. There's a gotta, book about... Yeah, there's a book about Pixar. What's the name of that book? Oh, man. Making Pixar or some nah, shit? I, I read it before. I read it some years ago. What was the name of that Yo, book? Am, am I making this up or did Steve Jobs start Pixar? Too? He did. He, he was he was part of Pixar. He absolutely was. No, you're not Goat, making this up. Son. That's Go. That's dope. Crea- Creativity and Incorporated. That's the name of the book. Creativity Incorporated. Buddy. Overcoming the unseen forces that stand in the way of true inspiration. I, I'm watching this. I watched Coco the other day. And it was absolutely amazing. And I'm watching, I'm just like, it, it, the storytelling is so masterful. Like, they just know exactly what to do. They know how That's to pull good. your heartstrings and how to get you to fucking cry. Like, I'm a, yeah. I'm a crier at movies. Yeah, I fucking cry. 
Like, I, I can't even describe the movie without How crying. How do your wife like that about you just crying all the time? I don't know. And sometimes I look at her thinking that I'm pathetic. You might be doing this too much. Yeah, right? like, because I, I can't even talk to her about the movie without starting to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it goes, but, like, recently, uh, Coco fucking got me. Incredibles, dude. bro. I liked Incredibles. Incredibles is my joint. I liked Incredibles. And everybody in Pixar got fatties. Super. Dumpers. Super. <laughs> Super. Super. That's the, that's Super. The per, that's the pervert part, because somebody's making mm. it like that on purpose. Mm. And they're doing the right thing. I was looking at Miss Incredible like, I'm about Man. to stretch you out. And then she rides a motorcycle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She be popping that wheelie like, like Lotto. Oh, they know what the point. You know what I'm saying? Big Lotto in this motherfucker. You know yeah, dude. Mean? No, no. She look crazy. Stupid dumper. Stupid dumper. Yo, yeah. when, when, when y'all read, do y'all like have pictures in your head as y'all read it? Huh? When you read, do you like picture things while you're reading? Yeah, if it's vivid. Absolutely. Why? I just can't do it. That's why people what? Well, read? No, no. I'm just saying when I read, I'm just so worried about the words. Yeah. How do you visualize as you read it? That's why I like that's why I like the You don't the, have an idea of like what Noah's Ark looks like? Like in your head, like Yeah, I yeah. You both. do. But I think that's why. Like, sometimes I'd be a yacht. Sometimes it'd be like a pirate ship. Yep. Sometimes it'd be different things. I don't know. Hundred percent. I just think that's why people are upset when the movie comes out from the book, because we all read the, the book imagination. and we imagine what the characters mm. look like and what the scenario looks like and all yeah. that kind of shit. And then you see the character and it's like, what? That? That's not what I thought that teacher was. Yeah. Or, who, who, uh, who and I don't think every book needs a movie. Like True. they talking about doing the Will Smith biopic. I don't think Will Smith needs a biopic. I think his book is fantastic. Mm. You know what I mean? And and like we've seen so much of Will's life in real time. Read the book. Like I don't think Will's book needs a biopic. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, yeah, I don't we don't need that many movies, bro. Like there's a lot of movies coming out and they're just rolling the dice. And then there's you look at Pixar and you're like, oh wow, you hit eight out of ten movies are absolute success. Let's see what Pixar films are. Marvel. So, so, so eight out of see. ten is absolute so, so, success. So I say storm, right? Yeah. You automatically know what a storm looked like, but now you know how she's looking at things, so that would that fuck you up? What do you mean? Like you talking about Storm the superhero or yeah, storm, storm, storm like the storm? Superhero. See, I, I I knew Storm. Oh, I, I didn't from know this was Pixar. Books. What? I just, turning red. Oh yeah, did you watch that? Yeah, my daughter. Your daughter it loved like it or what? Times. Oh my god, the panda shit. Yes, this is a uh, it's a movie about girls getting I, their period or whatever, yeah, going through puberty. No, right? it's not. Well, yeah, that's what turning red is. You fucking idiot. I thought that. And no, I said that in the house. Everybody told me I was stupid. No, yeah, they probably told you to shut up. No, I, yes. Well, so I was, <laughs> I was sitting there watching it, and I'm like, is this like a metaphor for minstrels? They like shut up, right? Yes, they that's told it. me it wasn't. Remember the father goes, it came already. <laughs> I thought the you same right. thing. She gaslit you. <laughs> gaslit she gaslit you, bro. She must have been telling me to shut up in front of the kids. Yeah, hundred percent. But wow. that's what the pandas about. It's it's really puberty, but also I think yeah, because pandas had the the um, period. The oh, fastest. soul was good. Is that right? When they're youngest, they had the period so fast. I think it's like a week. Wait, really? Yeah. I what the know fuck that. you know about pandas? I watch pandas and lions all the time. Oh, that's gorillas. Is true. Soul is good. Soul was I great. Thought soul was okay. No, I, I like, like soul. I, I, like no, I like soul because I like the idea of it. Like yeah. Like I like the piano part, you know, like what, where, where, like the, you know, because it shows like the origins of humans mm. before they become, mm. you know, actual beings on this planet. Yeah, and it's like I, I just, I like the idea of soul. For me, when it gets too abstract, and that's the thing I didn't like about Inside Out, when it gets too abstract, like when they stop looking like people, when they're yeah. just like things 3D. that talk, is too far for me, and I can't relate to them. Yeah, yeah. but like Coco, they were skeletons, but a skeleton Coco is, is a per, yo Coco was Coco fucking slap. amazing. Toy Story, Toy even Story like slap. Yeah, they're, they're like toys, that. but they look like human. Yeah. Car slap. I didn't see cars. Didn't see Finding cars. Nemo slap. Yo, Nemo, Nemo was crazy. Yeah. Rat tattooly slap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bug's life slap. Dogs rat tattooly. Ratatouille. Y'all ain't fuck with it. I, I didn't see that. I'm a kid. I seen it. Was good. Yeah, it was good. Huh? I did what? No. Yeah, finally Dory was dope. I, uh, Dory was I, but I don't, I don't like nothing. Really? I don't like nothing really. Like I don't like Belly too. I don't like Lion King too. Mm. Simba was a bitch. You know what I'm saying? God damn, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck no, Simba did this. No, no. Man. I'm just saying he 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 grew up with a fucking a, a, a war hog and a fucking little ass tramp. Yeah. He ain't grow up with Mufasa. If he grew up with Mufasa, it'd be man, different. It'd be totally but different. That's, but that's what happens when you grow up without your father. 
That's mm. what happened. You know what I'm saying? You're right. No, no, it bullshit. My boys is my. I ain't say nothing about you. Why you? Why you get so? Why you? Why, 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 why you react like that? Because I'm here, I baby. Because I'm I here. But so, hey, boys, daddy oh, here, boy. Hey, daddy here. Listen, but time out. That's the problem. That, but, daddy here. That's, <laughs> that should be there. Okay. Listen. Here's the thing. He was still a lion. Yes. Yeah. Aesthetically. Yes. So they were scared of him and everything. But on that inside, he, he didn't was, know he was yeah. a lion. Yeah. Rafiki Unimitari. had to remind him. Yeah. Rafiki had to hit him upside the head with that cane yeah, and tell him, like, you know who the fuck you are? What about, what about? You know who Timon and Pumbaa is? Yo, sorry, no, I'm not listening to you. You know A wax away, a wax away, a wax away, a wax away. They're real life Timon and Pumbaa. I'm telling you, they're the real life Timon and Pumbaa, man. That is so crazy. Yes. What? Oh, Timon shit. and Pumbaa. Yes. What? These people that we know is really Timon and Pumbaa. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying wax his kids. No, his his, no, his, his, son, his son's god godfather. Oh, that's why I was saying a wax away. <laughs> <laughs> a wax away. <laughs> this son's got a wax away. A wax away. Yeah. What the hell is going on? They're going to be on the boat going, a wax, wax away. away. A wax, wax away. away. <laughs> on the podcast, Man. the money podcast, <laughs> the wax <laughs> tries to spell narcissist. I ain't even trying to spell it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, push your T. Salute to push your T, man. Push your T, brother. I know that everybody talk about the Arby's commercial. That's great. I'm glad. I hope that he got a better deal than he did with the McDonald's jingle 20 years ago. Mm. You know Pusha T and his brother wrote the uh, McDonald's jingle. I did hear ago. that. I did. Yes. La, 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 la. I, he wrote a phenomenal, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. I'm loving it. He wrote a phenomenal Arby's diss track, but that's cool. Pusha T's album, it's not out yet. I'm not going to put too much sauce on it, mm. right? All I'm going to tell y'all is this is Pusha T's best body of work. Really? Wow. Wow. That's all I'm gonna tell. Any dissing? Nah. Does he go at uh No. It's just a great The Six God? Nah. It's just a great body of work. It's Pusha T's best body of work. And Whoa. that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. Whoa. And the reason I like guys like Pusha T, number yeah, one, Pusha I'm, rock. Pusha he gets absolutely he's yeah, phenomenal. One of the best right rappers up. of all time. Mm. I'm 43 years old. I like urban adult contemporary hip hop. I like rappers the way I like my athletes, those that get better with time. Yeah. That's when you really start to salute people, right? Because that's things we haven't seen before. We expect people to be great when they're young and yeah. then they prime. But, you know, historically, we've always thought the oldest certain people get, whether it's entertainers, athletes, they fall Wonder, off. So when you yeah. see people getting better and better and more stellar, whether it's Tom so Brady, whether it's LeBron James, whoever it is, you're like, wow, Chris Paul. You're like, wow, wow. And it's the same thing with Pusha T. I'm just telling you this is his best body of work. Mm. Wow. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to put too much sauce on it. I want to, I don't want to put too much expectation it's on it. It's a lot of you sauce because I mean? he always got busy. That's what I'm saying. Wow. But it's really, really phenomenal. Man. And this is produced by, uh, by Ye? Ye's on there. Ye and Pharrell, I think. I think Ye and oh, Pharrell wow. handled yeah, he definitely the bulk of the production. I mean, he's always been in good hands when you think about it. Like, he's nice in terms of, of bars, but, like, working with Pharrell and Kanye in yeah. terms of producing Shoot. beats, like, how you how you fail with that? It's levels, it's layers, so pray for the players. Salute to our guy D.L. Hughley, too, man. Um, you know, what we saw this week is a prime example of why the rhetoric Kanye West puts out there is dangerous. Because when you say things like you can afford to put hits on people, you will have stands in the industry and outside of the industry that will try to get stripes, you yeah. know? And um Wait, what happened? Go viral. Well, it was a it was a young man who said that uh well, initially he posted that he pressed DL Hughley and he put up a screenshot of a picture of DL like turning around and he like he like walked by DL's table while DL was with his family. He just was recording them. Not like in their face, but kind of just like a, a drive-by. Yeah. And then he had a screenshot of DL. He's like, yeah, I just pressed him over Kanye, whatever, whatever. So I can see it. That's it right there. So I guess in, I guess he knew that the video was coming out. Mm. So he decided to actually just put what really happened. And what really happened, he walked up to DL, gave DL dap, told DL he the OG, and was like, yo, man, what's up with, you know, that beef with Ye? You need to clean that up, whatever, whatever. Mm. Nothing crazy. And, man, I just want y'all to stop playing like this because everybody ain't playing, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we yeah. live in a society right now where you really can't trust nobody. People are doing weird that things. That ugly, man. Everywhere. And Somebody's going to take your fucking face off, Yeah, but yo. DL don't yeah. get caught with your pants down. Where's your guy? 
Like, who? why you have nobody with you? That could have got ugly for you just now. Yeah, I mean, the dude, the dude said that DL security came. So, I mean. Yeah. Might know. be too late. Could be too late. You that's know what I mean? Put your pants down. I'm just, I'm just saying that's why Kanye's rhetoric is dangerous. dangerous. You can't do that. What do you think about that. Kanye getting, a, uh, what is it, uh, suspended or blocked wild, or though. canceled Taken off from the Grammys? Yeah, removed. Um, Like oh, I always tell y'all, you can never, uh, you can never pick the consequences of your actions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So when you put certain things out there, people are going to react a certain way. Mm. Um, I, it, ah. the, the Grammys, I can see why they would do that because it's like a live show. Can you trust Kanye West at a live show? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I, I, can you trust I, I, I Kanye West to go that. on stage and not say you, something that about how he wants to assault Pete Davidson? Or, but do you think it had anything to do with the fact that Trevor Noah is hosting and Kanye called him a coon? I don't think it has nothing to do with that because I don't think Kanye West purposely called Trevor Noah a coon. I just think Kanye can't spell. I really think Kanye was trying to say coon by y'all, my lord. I really do. What? I really sincerely believe Kanye West was trying to type out kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya, what? and he spelt it coon. But it's kumbaya. I, that's my point. He can't spell He He heard it. He's like kumbaya. That's what he thinks they're saying. Come on. I promise you, I do not think Kanye kumbaya. was trying to use a racial slur, yo. Because everybody's kumbaya. trying to get at right now, all he does is just like change their name or do something funny. Skeet for Pete, kumbaya for... I don't oh. think Kanye would play the coon game because he's been called a coon. I don't think Kanye would play the coon game, I yo. I mean, Kanye's been called everything. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he would play the coon game, yo. And we've never seen him do that. Mm. When have we ever seen Kanye do that? We've never seen Kanye resort to racial slurs. When? Ever. He's the coon by y'all person. Coon is... Ka Kanye is the person that's like, yo, uh, we come, need to come, move come past to slavery. Yeah, let's and go to Trump. We, slavery is a choice. And just because you're black, you shouldn't have to be pigeonholed yeah. to being a Democrat. I should be able to lie to you. He's that person that's broad, uh, alleged broad thinker like that. So why would he resort to calling Trevor Noah a coon? He, yeah. he called quick him a joke. coon. For sure. I, I don't think, I really online, think I he think spelled cool. coon by y'all wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. I think no, no, it's no. like Wax trying to say narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Even when he's, when I, when I read it, I never wrong. thought that was a racial slur, yo. Really? And I'm not saying this, I'm not saying I could be totally wrong here. I, but his body, I'm just simply saying, it. I just thought he spelled coon by y'all wrong. Because he also told Pete that morning, apologize Apologize to your family for being in your family. Amazing. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's kind of good. This, but it's hilarious. I don't yeah, think he meant to say that either. No, he meant to say that. I don't know, bro. You're not what giving you him enough about, credit. Man? You think he meant to make it uh, through the wire? <laughs> yes. <I definitely laughs> you think did. He, okay. <laughs> what did he mean to do? I definitely think he make meant a million to, dollars. Did he Yo, mean to make he's a million? Not, he's not the best with the, the, the Instagram, bro. He don't use commas. I don't care what you're His saying. His grammar will be off. I'm fuck, I'm like You know what I'm saying? I don't. So he might be a narcissist. He, oh, he's that, come on, man. Oh. That's it. That's that. He, he's you know he's a narcissist. Sis, sis, sis. Well, I'm not with. Okay. I'm not with him. No, I don't think he was bad. There's levels. I don't think he was bad as Kanye. There's levels, but well, yeah, I don't know. I think he did mean to say it. I thought that they were protecting uh, Trevor from him potentially going in on Trevor. I think they were protecting but, themselves from potential backlash because if they put him on that stage and he says something about Kim, then they're gonna they're gonna say, well, you gave a platform to somebody who's been stalking somebody to somebody who's been harassing a woman for weeks and you still gave them a platform. All they did was protected themselves from the best ratings the Grammys have had in years. Because if they actually kept him on the show... Which they should. Yeah. You don't think motherfuckers are turning on for the carnage? Yeah, yeah, but it would have did better than social. But I mean, shouldn't we applaud them for, for not being clout chasers? The uh, whole thing is clout. Yeah, and, yeah and, but you want to have an organic yeah, but that's his body and of work. He did the work. He gonna but, make it organic for you. But also, let's talk about cloud chasing. We ne nobody knew Kanye was performing at the Grammys. I mean, nobody even knows the Grammys are happening. I knew, yeah. but I I, I I I knew, but they never announced. Uh, that when Kanye when are the Grammys? I don't even know when them. In a couple weeks, because the Oscars are Sunday. That, that's the thing that got the little doll that you go like this. Yo, <laughs> yo <laughs> how crazy is it? The Oscars are this Sunday. I don't even know what's nominated. Me King either. Richard. Besides King Richard, but like... That's all I care about, to this, your point. This used to dominate the timeline. Do you remember when we were younger? Like, the Oscars, oh my God, it's award season. Who's going to win the Golden Globe for this? Who's gonna, I mean, did the Golden Globes already happen? I don't know. They usually before the Oscars, right? Did that know. one get canceled? One of them <laughs> got canceled. Oh yeah, maybe that one got canceled. Yeah. I'm just saying, what a crazy time we're living in. And they're talking about taking Kanye off of Coachella. That's right. They got like twenty three thousand. You don't think is? I mean, I get what you're saying. Is like you can't tell somebody what to do and what consequences you get, but it's still his body at work if he do that. I think the white man tapped Kanye in his jaw this week. 
Mm. And Kanye is very quiet now because his IG got taken away. He got taken, he got taken off the Grammys. They're talking about, you know, potentially removing him from Coachella. I'm sh- the, the gap, we already know the gap was getting calls. And I'm mm. sure that somebody hit Ye and said, now Ye, now you're fucking up the bag. Ye's mm. not stupid. Ye's not crazy. He's hurt right now. Yeah, so sure. That. He's hurt because so he's showing his emotions. He's, doing, he's going Thousand through a divorce. Percent. I'm sure that would happen to any of yeah, us. So he's sure. hurt right now. Somebody told Ye, now's the time for you to relax. Yeah. And if Ye's smart, He's somewhere right the now. Shit, the shit he was doing healing. was black as hell for sure. He's you know, somewhere right now taking a break yeah, before know. he fucks up his bag in Facts. a real way. You know, it's interesting billion. though. I don't think real. he really fuck up his bag. Nah, but like, the billion yeah. is in like equity and that kind of shit. It's not and, just exactly. And, and you're partnered with people. You're still partnered yeah, with the gap. You're still yeah. partnered with Yeezy. So you need to be good so that they can make their you money on their investment. Keep on doing what they don't. But you know what's kind of interesting that you bring that up? Like if you looked at that documentary, Genius. The thing that motivates him the most and thing that obviously bothers him the most is rejection, right? I see that. And right now he's going through a divorce, which is not his choice. He's been rejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the woman that he apparently loves and the mother of his children. Of course it's going to rile him up in the same way. If rejecting him from being a rapper made him one of the most successful rappers in history, just imagine rejecting his love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going to be, he's going to be, he's going to go Kanye. Yeah. But I I agree with you in that, like, I don't think that he's crazy. I think that's dismissive. And I think if you watch that documentary, he's quite consistent. He's, he's, (laughs) listen, Kanye has been Kanye. Yeah. It's just that we see a more, you know, grandiose version of the Kanye that we've always seen because he got more now, more success, more bread, more money. Yeah. You know what I mean? More people willing to do the things that he wants. That's right. Yeah. And listen, I'm not dismissing the fact that he got mental health issues. We all got our various issues. Who doesn't, though? That's my point. You know what I mean? But it's like, <laughs> do you get help? You can't keep rejecting help. Mm. Like, you can't get on records and say things like, I don't negotiate with therapists. And you can't say you're bipolar one enough. minute. And then the next minute you say you got misdiagnosed. Mm. Yo, you got issues. Go, go deal with him. We could, yeah. Everybody could clearly see your hurt. Everybody could clearly see you're in pain. Yeah, you said so, it. You showing his emotions. You got on Instagram yeah. and said it. After you was like, you, you talking about how much divorce hurts and how divorce feels like death and everything. Yeah. So go seek some help because right now, brother, you bleeding on people who didn't cut you. And yeah. that's why the white man tapped you in your jaw this week. Mm-hmm. And they, took who, your, they took your Instagram, took you off the Grammy stage. Some other things he probably was like, whoa, they, I'm sure the gap was getting calls. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it made him and his team say, you know what, yay? Let's take a breather. If, if it wasn't Kanye, you think that um, they let him get away with all this nonsense he's doing? You said what? You think if it wasn't Kanye, you think they let him get away with it? So this is if my sister. If it wasn't Kanye, there was no Kanye is the only person who can get away with this. If this is my sister, Rob should have definitely hollered at Kanye. Like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? My sister cannot go through this with and then any one of her exes. Say what? Yeah. That's still a brother. You got to be a brother to your sisters, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My sister, Arthur, going, yeah, through, yeah, my sister yeah. going through this and she got a stalker or whatever y'all want to call Kanye right now. He's getting out of control with my sister. She said she didn't want to be with She got a new man. I'm not allowing this to go down. But like what, what is he going to do? He's going to pull up the Sunday service, fuck him up? <laughs> That's his like, brother. That's her brother. Even though old boy lost or I don't even know what happened to Danny Lane or whatever the case with uh, the baby, he still went to defend his sister at the end of the day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. think Rob's talking about the the baby shit. I just don't think that's a good example. But how? Oh. Well, I mean, why? because he went to defend his sister. Like you won't get it. Eh, I mean, if you're gonna defend, you gotta defend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know he lost. Yeah. Regardless, if he lost. Yeah, he didn't. He wasn't. He wasn't like prepared to defend. <laughs> Listen, like, he walked up to the baby with a drink in his hand. I don't know what. He, was that yeah. a peace offering? I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Came the defender though. Why did he have a drink in his hand? I'm be, I don't think none of. The, I, I really think that he thought it was going to go a different way. I think a lot of. I really truly feel like this. I don't think people know the consequences of their actions. I really don't. I think even that we, talking. Yeah. I, I think social media makes it to where it's so much rhetoric and it's so much talk and it's so much conversation that people forget you really got to go live. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And shit can happen to you, whether it's getting taken off a Grammy stage or whether it's getting punched in your face. There are consequences to Every action. your actions. Yeah. And I think we really live in an era where people just don't want to be held accountable for their shit. That's interesting because Kanye speaks uh, about, like, wanting to be free and wanting to be able to say whatever he says. But, like, once you're invested with these billion-dollar corporations, there is no freedom. He, he, he knows at that. All. But, he, but, like, but he, he manipulates the people. Don't get me wrong. You can have freedom, but then you're still 
you still, if you want, you're tied to a company, you're tied to that company. Yeah, you can't yeah. have freedom. I'm sorry. Like, you, you can't. It all depends on what freedom looks like for him. You can have freedom. You, sure. you can't. Uh, when when I say freedom, I, I, I don't mean like we can't have a private conversation where we're having dinner and we're saying our feelings about the world, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what most people have. Most people don't have platforms with 50 million people that they mm -hmm. can speak to. So, yeah, we're free to do more or less as we please in our private lives. But to you live, have to think about the people you're in business with. Yeah, thank you. That's a better way of saying you it. You represent them too. Yeah. And that's the deal you signed. <laughs> yes. yes. And, you, and by the way, they represent you. That because if Nike, yes. if Nike does some, what uh, Adidas does some foul shit that like racist shit that makes racist yeah, shit like, 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 like Gucci, that's right? Gucci that's crazy right, yeah. right now, that's like, right. Yeah. like Gucci did. Yeah, who, that's right. Who, who, who and and listen, that's right. Dude, most people bad. would take that deal though. Most people would go, yes, I would like to sacrifice. I mean, this is the age old uh, tale, right? Like uh, security for freedom. The government gives you a little bit of security, but they're going to take away some freedom in exchange. And the same thing with money. It's like most people will take that security. Oh, a hundred million dollar contract to play for. The Patriots, but keep in mind, you can't be out here partying and making us smoking look stupid. Weed. You can't be smoking weed. It's Messing not going to be loose. Yeah, like, yeah. you're out of here, buddy. Exactly. So <laughs> you're going to give away a little bit of that freedom. Yeah, that's why mm -hmm. people be mm -hmm. like, oh, if you got money, you can't be fired. Who so, who? <laughs> who who told can? you that? If you're the owner of that company, and even then, you can get ousted. Thank you. You still get done. You can Thank still you. get Apple, ousted. Apple. Donald Steve Sterling. Jobs. Sterling. Like, what are we talking IRS. about here? Like, listen, you can have money and be good, but don't act like if you're tied to a corporation, yep. you can't get pushed especially, the fuck out. Especially yeah. if that corporation's public, right? Like if people yes, own shares, man, like, yes, you and get yeah. that money back. Yes, y'all. Like, people just be on social media talking about shit they have no, no clue about. No, don't know. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> if you got money, you can absolutely be fired. Matter what fact, are we talking about? The more money you have, the more susceptible you are to it, probably. Yeah. You're the, you're the yeah. target. They Thank want you out of here. You're the, yeah. you the guy. Like, that's, that's what we need to take yeah. out. Mm -hmm. They're eating too much food. Literally, no, oh, literally. <sighs> yeah, I just, I just really do send yeah. Kanye healing energy, and I think all of this shit is ridiculous, man. Even watching this whole exchange with DL and 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 dude, it's like, yo, that's not, that's not cool, man. Because that yeah, shit can go a whole breaks, different man. way. Where Stop doing wrong? that, man. What if the security came and knocked you the fuck yes. out and put your head in the toilet? Yes, Kanye ain't gonna <laughs> pay nothing. Yes, Kanye not paying any your hospital bills. Kanye not paying for your funeral. Like, don't do that, man. Oh. Everybody relax. Like, come on, yo, stop. And 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 Kanye needs to like. Get a, I never even knew Kanye to be that type of person. So to hear Kanye say things like, I can afford to put hits on you and shit. Like, it's like, when did this happen? Nah, every once in a while, shit. while, he would pop off at that shit. Like, do you remember when that happened with Jay-Z? When he mentioned it, he's like, yo, Jay's trying to put a hit out on me or something But like that's, that. on yeah, that's on him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's on him. Oh, fuck, you're like, right. Jay-Z don't have me killed. Nah, you're right. <laughs> now, now, now he got Jay-Z Which, money, by the way, so. makes Jay-Z hot as shit. Yeah. 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 FBI's not calling Jay like, oh, are you trying to kill? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Mr. Guy's West. talking. Yeah, but like you guys said, Kanye has always been this person. So you, you don't think the companies bring him on knowing that? And that's the risk. But, but No, different ballgame. So. Well, 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 I, I, um. Uh, I'll say this. He's always been that person and they know about that risk when they take him on. It's yeah, like yes. Antonio Brown. Like, the, if the team it's signs him, they know risk. that he could be a head case and fuck some shit up. But at the same time, more he's going to provide. He's showing a different level of risk now, though. He never was violent. He never was calling for violence. Ooh. There's never been a time when Kanye was calling for violence. Let me well, think about did that. Did he have outbursts? Yes. Did he have political opinions you didn't like? Yes. Now I see you what know? the Grammys might But he wasn't that. being violent. The violent thing, I see That's what you're saying. Yes. He, now he in videos decapitating Pete Davidson and burying him and talking about putting hits on DL. It's like, come on, you putting but people's but address somebody, out there? But if somebody after your wife, what do you actually do? But I'm what saying. DL do to his wife? Huh? DL no, no, didn't do no, nothing no, to his wife? I think he talked about it. He had an opinion, but... Was it a joke? I, who even knows? Like, did he do it as stand up or did he do it as, like, I probably think he's on Black TV? Yeah, he, he, probably, he, probably, he probably is disciplining him, probably telling him it was right and wrong. He just basically said what Wax just said about how if that was his daughter, he would have to go see him because this is harassment. This, this is not cool. You know, this is harassment type behavior, you know? How could Kanye not agree with that? And he I don't feels know. The same way you have daughters. You have daughters. You have Kanye. daughters. Imagine the dude doing that to your daughters, but that's what I'm saying. That's kind of wild. You can't get away with that shit. Yeah. I mean, listen, we know. Here's the thing Kanye's hurt. That's all. He's just bleeding on people that didn't cut him. I hope he's somewhere right now after he got his jaw tapped by the white man. I hope he's somewhere right now. Who are the what, what healing? <laughs> I <laughs> need to meet these. But Andrew, <laughs> I, I, I want this so bad. But Andrew, the reason I say white man is because we know that Kanye loves white. He loves validation from white people. He does. Yes. Trump all day. Yes. But y'all, but, but even bigger than yeah. Trump, the R he inspires to be the Armos. <laughs> Who's the person that owns the LVMH? Oh, he's, all these people he named. Yeah. Right? He's, uh, are those white people? Or those just like successful rich people? They're successful Both. black people. 
Lots. He don't talk about successful black people. He could want to be like, dude, did you see genius? He's so giddy to be in a room with them. He's so get Pharrell goes, you're great. And he puts in it to get that Pharrell said, I'm great. Like he's, he's dying for the people that he admires to give him. Okay. I, so no, that's, that's true. The people he admires. That's true. But that was a different. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. But that was a different. Yeah. So as you grow. And your wealth grows. Well, now he admires billionaires. There's fewer That's black right. billionaires than there are white billionaires. Like, I'm sure he just admires billionaires. And, and as, I mean, he just, references Mansa Musa, you know, but I mean, God, there's Robert Smith. There's so many people out there talking about erasure. Like, Kanye goes around saying he's the richest black man in America. He's not? No. <laughs> Who's the richest? Robert Smith. Yeah. The guy who owned the Hawks. No, Robert Smith ain't never owned the Hawks. He's trying, he's trying to buy the Broncos. Oh, like uh, who was the guy that owned the Hawks? Who owned the I Hawks? Have no idea. There's a black man. There's a black man on the Hawks. I thought the black guy on the Hawks. I think he owned BT too. No, oh, Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson. Johnson used to own the Hornets. Oh, Hornets. Sold it yeah. to Michael Jordan. Yes. yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, so yes. right now, if your wife sit there and say, say you, you and your wife break up and she start dealing with somebody, come that on, bro. That Why you know? I'm sorry, maybe like not that. you, but Why somebody might be miserable like you, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm just saying. But, but no, actually, it's actually Kanye. I'm just trying to put y'all in Yay shoes. You see what I'm saying? It's like. If you, if you start dealing with somebody that you actually know or seen before, and that's your ex-wife, and that's right. your wife and you still love her, how would you react? What can you do? It's the industry, man. It's like I'm your, your, you. your wife is one of the most famous people in the world. Who else is she going to date but another famous person? I, I, I'm with you at the end of the day, but how would you act at the end of the day? You tell us. Hmm. Hey, when Carla May starts thinking, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how you going to be? There's nothing be? I can do. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm not the narcissist. You know what I'm saying? Like you said guy. you are a narcissist. I said she called me that shit. I don't even know what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what I am because she said it. I don't believe you, man. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, really, if somebody started um, dating your wife that you, and you know this person. I want to call it to get a defensive in. Yo, that is, to me, that's foul. Six foot four. That's fine. Long Yo, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yo, yo. I got an idea. No, no, but I know one football player specifically. Ooh. The white guy at Benedict. You know the real funny thing? He had dreads. No. <laughs> Commitment, the man. white boy had a dreads. He, he always he wanted to be around the black guy. Oh, no, but, man. But that is foul, though. If you're, if you date, now I don't think they, I don't think Pete and Kanye were boys. Nah, I don't think it like was that. cool. Nah, nah. But I'm like, if saying. you date if you somebody's homie, if you break up and then date that person's homie, but first of all, your homeboy's foul. That's, that's that uh, is a foul. sign of a dude is a real piece of shit dude. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're gonna get their karma for that. Yeah, hundred percent. So that. that but what if they meant to be? Say again. What if they meant to be? Nah, they wasn't. Fuck How you know that? Be, bro? They wasn't. What if they live happily ever after? They Not wasn't. Still, what, no. Listen, no. What if they live happily ever after? What no. if they, they're so compatible? It don't matter. No. I right. should have got her first thing. God shouldn't have put me in the yeah. front. But maybe she got with you. God got her with you to hey, bring him hey, closer to him. Hey, what if me and my boy were meant to be friends forever? Y'all can still be friends. It's just a little awkward now. now. (laughs) It's just a little awkward now. Y'all can still be friends. We got more in common. You know? (laughs) Nah. Hold on. Nah, nah, that's crazy. That's not cool. That's That's not not cool. cool. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they wasn't boys, but he knew of them. I seen pictures of him. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's different. I don't even think that matters. You know what I'm saying? Because. Maybe if, like you said, with Carla, if somebody I know no. trying to holler, I'm going to go talk to this dude. Even now? Even even though we're not together because that's my son's mom at the end of the day. So say it, it could be somebody I know that I'm not cool with everybody in the industry, but if somebody I'm going to have to tap him like, yo, leave uh, him alone. It'd be okay. Who we want to see her with, man? I mean, listen, it's up to y'all, though. <laughs> it's up to y'all, though. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Who do we, <laughs> who do we want to see her with? Oh, uh, no. Because you moving on. I want to see yes, her with. Yes, what about a girl? A what about a girl? Ooh, what about a girl? Ooh, I like this. I like this. I what like about this. Leah Thomas, the the swimmer <laughs> for Penn? Uh, yeah, like, she, she, I like this. I like this. I like this. She could be out the way because this. I like this. I like this. I like this for her. I like this for her. I do. I do. But at the end of the day, I still have to. That's still my responsibility. I still have to make sure she's good because of my son. Yeah. You understand? So it's not just. You can't just do anything. You can't just go out here. You don't do have no say in that no more. Yeah. No, like no, you, you don't say can't do that. Y'all, y'all are many. No. Y'all are doing this. That's wrong. You can't yeah, have your you have cake and your empanada. Ain't, ain't, ain't about the empanadas no, right now. No, it's, no, it's, it's no, 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 no. 
It's about well, little empanada, and he gonna make sure he's good. <laughs> That's what he's about. You towards your own son. I'm just saying, you know. Little E. <laughs> it's about him. So long as everybody can stay out the way, because she can't look bad. I can't have nobody looking to look bad. Yo, this guy. Oh, man. This guy is it's, it's all about him, man. Oh, as long as you, you can't real. be out here looking bad, I don't want you to look looking bad. And the dude got to still be like, yo, listen, that's my son's mom, so you got to be there's a There's a now, lot. But like you said, if it's meant for them to be together and they want to get married and stuff like that, respect, I do have to fall back. There's a line on Pussy Ah, but if it's just playing with her like that? I can't do that with my son's mom now. That's still my responsibility. If something happened to her, it still directly affects me. It's like real shit. That's narcissist of you. That is narcissist. How, you that doing the same thing narcissist. to all these that's women. I just, You're doing the same thing to women. How? What are you talking about? What do you mean? That guy, that yeah. guy whatever guy she get with, going to be doing the same thing with her yeah. that you're doing with other women. Exactly. What if he my uses protection? What if he uses protection? Mom. What, else, what does that mean? You still. Oh, <laughs> yo, you wild. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. How do you say that, yo? What's that? That's wild, respectful. Boy, yo. That's wild, 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 respectful. wild, bro. Yo, you wild, bro. You wild, bro. You wild, bro. What? You wild, bro. What? You wild, bro. What? Why is that wild? Why is that wild, yo? I don't you have prefer nothing. not? <laughs> you are wild, son. You are disgusting, yo. You are disgusting, bro. Real talk. How do you know what he said? What do you say? I, listen, I want to make sure that he was using protection. Whoa. Who? The guy that you're talking about. But, and and that he made it less sexual when I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure he vaccinated. What else booster. is it? If it's not sexual. Vaccine boosted his <laughs> mask off. Come yeah. on. Yo, Are you on you drugs? Are, why would you? <laughs> yo, yo, why would you go crazy? Yo, why would you go so sexual for no reason? Bro, you got to get your mind out the gutter, listen, bro. You I'm going to tell you this gutter, right bro. now. We still in a pandemic. We listen. still in a pandemic. You playing around for no fucking listen. reason. So I was going to get older one day. <laughs> and that's a y'all don't want to play around this guy's mom. And I have to make sure oh, she's okay. He's playing around with his mom. Listen, I gotta make sure she's good until he be able to take over. I agree with you. Listen, there's a line on Kanye, not Kanye, on Push's album. I actually think Kanye says it. I don't, I don't know who's on this song, but the guy says, when a father's not in the house, the family's in danger. Oof. And I truly believe that. All right, so, and so, so my responsibility. So it depends. Not anybody can just come around. I on that agree side with that. Because the puppies is there. I agree with that. Puppies but with daddy right now. That's all the more reason that you should be back in the house, bro. I, listen, I'm a thousand percent with go you, back but to the puppies. Before I before the puppies and they have a, like a fire in the house, we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure everybody stay cordial, everything good, and everything stay respectful. And whatever I, whatever part I got to pay to lose to make sure that happen, I will lose on my end. Tell Carla, man, you love her, yo. <laughs> Listen, man, what's going on? All I hear, <laughs> yeah. listen, all I hear, yeah, all I hear yeah. is Come stress, on, bro. How am I stressed? I'm no, just, whack for real, I, man. I want, this I shit, this shit ain't going to get no easier, bro. Listen, yeah. I want peace. Why, why are you trying to make it work? Why are you talking about your words mean something and it's not going to get easier? Why not? It's not. It's <laughs> two human on, beings. Bro. This is not computers, you know bro. I don't know what's get, happening It's right not going to get easier because you, you all, it's the, the kid, man. Yeah. I understand that so long as everything is okay with the kid, everything's going to be okay What's with the kid. What's the best kid. thing for the kid? The best thing is... Because y'all reconcile. No, no, no. The best thing for the kid is that we have two parents that sit there and love the kid what and if make Carl, sure what they What if Carla apologize them. in the right way? Um, it's, it's, it's not even about her. I told you it's about me. You know what I'm saying? She he's just not ready. Me. He's not ready. Oh, he's not so ready, I man. have to be actually the one to apologize. Shit crazy. You he, he, he balding, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. The fuck down. Yeah. you balding. That's a great ass point. <laughs> like, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, no, you that's balding, a good ass point. Man. <laughs> man, this dude called a radio station this morning. And he was having a real serious conversation with me. He goes, "Yo, Charlamagne, speaking of Conway, he's like, bro, I saw you in the Conway interview, man. And I was sitting there thinking, yo, I hope my headline don't look like Charlamagne, yo. <laughs> yo, you know, he was like, yo, you know, you didn't have a fresh bald. Your shit was receding crazy. I was like. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to say? And I can't a, say. He's a, right. It's an audio call, right? You He's don't even right. know what he looks like. Listen, let's pay some bills, man. I got to piss. All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second because I got to help you out. It's too much cooking that you're doing on your daily. You don't have time for it. You're probably not even cooking the good, nutrient-rich stuff, and I'm going to help you out right now. I'm going to help you out with Freshly, okay? No one wants to spend an hour cooking after a rough day at work or an infuriating commute. That's right. We're no longer working from home. People got to go to the office now and you're pissed off. You don't want to come back and do even more work. At the end of a long day, takeout doesn't have to be your only option for an easy dinner, okay? Whether it's for you or your whole family, Freshly 
gives you convenience, flavor, and nutrition. I'm telling you, these meals are absolutely amazing. I cannot even believe that they're fresh nutrients. Uh, they are nutritious and absolutely delicious, and it's delivered right to your door. It, it seems it seems like it's unreal. Matter of fact, I think it has to be unreal. These meals are absolutely amazing. Thank God they send it to the studio. Keep sending us to the studio, by the way. We love these fucking, that steak peppercorn, absolute banger. That chicken parm, absolute banger. I'm telling you, Freshly has got it down. Um, fresh, healthy meals, okay? Delicious, chef-made, nutrient-packed meals delivered to your door. No cooking required. Fresh and fro, uh, never frozen, by the way, never frozen. Ready to heat and enjoy in just three minutes. Use the Freshly website or app to find meals that fit your lifestyle with plans that work for your dietary needs, preferences, tastes, and family size. Choose from over 50 nutritionist-designed entrees like their classic steak, pepper, corn. That's fire. The multi-serve sides like their masterful mac and cheese and their new line of plant-based meals. Skip the grocery line and dirty dishes. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week. New meals are added weekly, so you never stuck eating the same thing over and over. Stop stressing about dinner. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $80 off your first four orders when you go to Freshly.com slash idiots. That is $80 off at Freshly.com slash idiots. Go do it right now. Also, this episode has been brought to you by Squarespace, okay? Do you have a business? Your business needs a place online. It needs a website, and Squarespace is going to provide it all for you. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, my God, how am I going to design it? Squarespace got it covered. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage your audience, and sell absolutely anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. I'm telling you, Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand, okay? With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you remake and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns, okay? Collect email subscribers and convert them to loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built in analytics, measure the impact of every send, okay? Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most pop, uh, uh, popular products and content, okay? Right now, head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off that first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Do we have any church announcements? The infamous tour. Uh, Cleveland <laughs> and uh, Pittsburgh this weekend. Put a fuck up. And then... Radio City Music Hall, we had a second show. Uh, tickets flying for that one. Get those tickets early. Don't hit me up week of, oh, Schultz, how do we do this? Uh, the, the resale tickets are crazy. Da, da, da. Just fucking get what's left now, right now, because there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do once it gets, you know, to that to that last week. There's just nothing I can do. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited for that. So the infamous tour, um, yeah, it's just crazy. Montreal, those are sold out. Vancouver, there might be a couple tickets left. And then uh, Atlantic City, those are sold out. And then that's it, man. That's it. The infamous tour yeah. is about to be over. So if you want to see we the We're in there for tour, Radio let's, City, Let's man. go, go baby. There, that's going to be fun. Uh, Lou Herm, you got any church announcements? Yes, sir. Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. Um, we have the... I'm over in New York City, man. I know I told y'all last time over on um, 106 in Columbus in New York City. Who's waxed... Is inside the dispensary, man. Go get it. It looks something like this, man. Really fire. You know what I'm saying? This is shit I want to go ahead and grab. Um, the Who's Wax Airsoft, you know what I'm saying? Get your teams 10 on 10 together. Podcast wars, industry wars. Uh, let's go ahead and make that happen. I know y'all know too much about um, Airsoft, but it's just like paintball. It's a little bit better, though. I think so. And uh, go get your gummies, man. Go in there and, um, you know, whoswax.com. And go get your gummies over there. Who's Wax Gummies? It's really dope. I got uh, new batches came in, man. So y'all go ahead and grab that. And uh, <clears throat> my church announcement is make sure you go out there, 
Keep supporting Finding Tamika, man. Thank you. Number three audio book uh, in the country Let's right now go. on Audible. Um, tells the story of Tamika Houston, a queen from Spartanburg, South Carolina, uh, who went missing in the early 2000s, man. And it's just so many different supernatural aspects to her story. And it's just one of those stories that, you know, sparked a lot of change in regards to how people approach, you know, uh, approach, you know, missing black girls and, and black women, man. <clears throat> just the, really the media's approach, you know, more so than anything. So make sure you go check out Finding Tamika, narrated by the, the queen, the brilliant Erica Alexander. And uh, make sure you keep subscribing to all the podcasts on Black Effect, man. Check out the What Season 2 just launched with my uh, my nephew, Mouse Jones, and my niece, Nyla Simone. Make Let's sure, go. Make sure you check that out. Yeah. Shouts to Mouse and shouts to uh, Nyla, man. I, I yeah. fucks with them. All right, let's get back to the show. Uh, now, did Dove give you your wedding present yet? No, this son of a bitch. Wow. Wow. You, I heard you say earlier that, you know, you took wax wedding present back. I, you know, I feel the same way. Mm. You, you know? took my wedding present back? That's what Cho said. You didn't hear when he said that? Why? I got you a good wedding you present. You got to get married point? in order to get it. I was, yo, I, yeah, I was like, damn, this shit about to happen. I was, now it's like, what do you do? It's like, ugh. Still give it to me. I'm sure I can do something with it. Listen, got something <laughs> no, me. you no. gotta earn no, it by getting married and making right. that commitment that's for your right. life. That's right. That's right. Andrew Schultz made a commitment. Mm -hmm. Andrew okay. Schultz got married. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. when we were at his wedding, we were. I had plans to get Andrew a wedding present. Mm. Right. Then I saw what Joe Rogan got, mm. and I said, "I gotta step it up." I refuse. I, can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. To let Joe Rogan be out here giving my guy root beer flavored Rolexes. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And we just put a couple dollars in the register. Yeah. So. Oh, Jesus. My man, Greg Yuna. Oh, Jesus. My man, Greg Yuna. Oh, uh, shout out to Greg, um, man. Oh, you know, Jesus. I, I, I told Greg this, the dilemma. I said, Greg, this is what Joe Rogan got him. All right? So I need you to make something very, 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 very fresh. Oh, boy. Okay? Oh, boy. Put a, oh, put a boy. hezzy. What is it? <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> something subtle. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go. It's subtle. How, how you beat uh, that? It can, you it can't can, beat that. It can match Rogan's watch. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay, something, Greg. Something subtle. Let's go, okay. Greg. Hold on. I, my fingers don't work. And it's real. Don't get it fucked up. <laughs> All right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the Brilliant Idiots logo. It's the... It's the... It's the... It's the... It's fire. Hold it's on. a Brilliant Idiots logo turned into a charm. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Yo. Thank you, Charla. And, and it's... It's not, it's colored, it's the colored, you know, whatever, diamonds and all of that stuff like that. You know oh, what I mean? The act, fine, to match bro. the logo. It's blue and the orange and, oh, this fire, and everything bro. else. You know what I mean? I don't know if a woman could put that on you. Say again? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's married. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's well, clean. I can't, I can't wear it? Something clean, yeah, like, you know? Oh, that's fire. And, and I, was, I, I showed him the watch. I'm like, great. This is our logo. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is Rogan's watch. <laughs> right? Yeah. Your Rogan okay. came through, yeah. He nah, came, through. Like, came, through. He came a little know. heavy. Hey, man, Rogan wasn't playing. He was acting his wage. You got to act. Oh, that's, you, got, uh, you know? I can't wait till you get married again, Charlotte. I am. I know. I'm <laughs> getting, I know I am. I am. In three years. Three years. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to get married. I'm going to get married. See? Stop. Stop. I need a gift. Stop. 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 Yo, am I am I Stop. blinged out, bro? <laughs> 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 yo, blinged yo, out, yo, yo, summertime a fresh tea with just that on, like yeah. Yeah. You gotta have a white it's tea subtle, with that. it's cool, tea like it, it ain't too, it ain't, it ain't gaudy. Well, exactly, it's you know. A a white tea, fun, bring it right? out. White tea, bring it out. That's white tea, bring it out. It's clean. Yeah. And is it crazy to wear two chains, guys? I've never worn a lot you of chains. Two chains right now. Two chains. Oh, yeah, two chains. And this one's supposed to be snug, right? This one's this supposed to be. Yeah. yeah, yo, yeah, and then yeah. Greg was like, "What kind of chain you think?" I was like, "Yo, it's Andrew Schultz." So think about, yeah, you know, you, he's not a rapper. You I'm know not, what I, I mean? Yeah, have yeah, some yeah, like yeah. long dangly that, shit. That's what I'm saying. Duh. You don't want to try to get you wrong. Wear that with a that's suit easy. jacket. Oh, yeah, that's fire. That's bro. subtle. You cool. You know that's what I mean? Damn, son, I'm killing these hoes right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these hoes ain't <laughs> ready. Got married already. These hoes ain't ready, bro. I gotta text my wife something. Hey, act right. Have you worn Rogan's watch? 
Yeah. Like, where do you wear it? Like, just on stage? Yeah, I wear it all the time. I wear it on the pod and shit, No. Too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nah, that's too much. It's too much. Bro. Why, why, why? Too much, bro. You wild, man. Well, don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Yeah, you gotta don't tell them that. that. Let's we get, just, you know, it's light, bro. It's Luther Rogan, though. Let's Yo, get you some uh, Joe, shit you won't care about next week. Mm. What dog? Oh, we adopted the gay dog. Where the dog at, Taylor? <laughs> we ad- <laughs> Yo, salute to Fesco, man. Fesco was a dog in North Carolina that, his, that his, owners, his, owners, his owners gave the dog up because the, they thought the dog was gay, man. Yo, what you mean? They did. They took the dog to an dog animal shelter. The dog. The time. We did. That's the one I've been playing with the whole time? Yes. <laughs> Sucking on my finger and That's shit? That's right. Listen, listen. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a gay you. dog? If you homophobic, I'm surprised that you love pets the way you do, Wax. What are you talking about? Because if you homophobic, <laughs> a dog is not the pet for you, bro. Because Why? dogs, they got rid of their dog. Right? Yeah. Because they said the dog was gay. Because they saw the dog Hilarious. humping another male dog. That's what dogs do. Yeah, men and yeah. male and female dogs look the same. And they all like they, they, they do look the they same. do it as a sign of dominance. They look the same. I know the I know the difference between a male and female. Guy, I guarantee I can tell. That's not a guy, bro. That's a fat pussy right here. Oh no, that's <laughs> yeah, a guy. Man, that's, that's a boy that's dog. A guy. That's a guy. Male dogs right. hump other male dogs is a sign of dominance. See, yeah. That's all it is. And I, I, get, I get that. Dogs are, dogs hump anything. When yeah. a dog gets horny, Pillow. that's it. pillows, your book bag, your legs. Too, that's girl dogs too, though. Girls dogs that's what I'm saying. So what's the big deal? So you didn't get rid of your dog for being gay, you got rid of your dog for being a dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, Son of a bitch. The next dog will do yeah. that. That's what I'm saying. You don't put two boys together. Make sure you have a, a girl dog and a male dog. Do you know dogs lick their own balls? Dogs will lick the balls of another dog if they sense an infection. Dogs sniff each other's butts. Yeah, they take the wounds. Do you know what I'm saying? They, like if, if you got a wound on your private, how'd you learn? They lick his wounds. I don't know about the private, Charlotte, but the, the Yeah. That's why they lick their balls. They lick their balls when it's an infection. Oh, they own, do it out of boredom. They own their own balls. Yes, but they lick other dogs' balls too. I never know they dogs. Yes, man. Would you lick your balls if you could? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You would? Yeah. If you jerk off before you, yeah. you want to do that Yeah, but I don't know if I'd use my mouth. Like, I don't think I'd just be like yes, watching you fucking euphoria. Yeah, throw if you could give yourself head. Yeah, you would. That's why God made it to where I we can't my, do no, that. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't gag on it. Yeah, but that's why God God made I'm it to where we can't do that. Because he knows. He knows. He knows. Yeah, we, you would go for it. We've all tried it. You think, bro? Yeah. You don't think we could actually do it? We really wanted to. I don't think you could do it. The floor is yours. You bust it. <laughs> 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 the floor is yours. The floor is yours. Wax. I don't even. I'm not even thought to even go down there. Like what the fuck? But the floor is <laughs> yours. <laughs> Yo. The floor is <laughs> slippery. The floor is <laughs> slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Make it even more slippery, wax. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I'm okay. You are I'm just crazy. saying. Next. But yeah, abandoning your dog because you think your dog is gay is wow. That's hilarious. Like that's dogs. They walk around sniffing each other's butts. Yeah, like dogs. Yeah, nah, that's like it's, they're dogs, bro. Yeah. Like whatever. That's hilarious. Uh, Dude, this shit is fire, though. I'll tell you that. Much. I'm telling you, Greg. You and the bro, Greg be Greg be hooking it up. Yeah, Greg, Greg don't be Greg playing no games, it, bro. I'm not even a jewelry yeah. guy, but when I go do get a little something, something, uh, it's Greg. Greg Una. What else we got? What else we got? Shout out to you, Greg. Thank you, brother. Yes, Stop sir. shutting down Times Square with your photo shoot. So how does he do that? Me off. I still haven't figured out how he does that. Nah, nah, he, he's on some different yeah, shit. Do you know how he does it? They re- literally just block the street. That's hilarious. Really? That's yeah. hilarious. They just wait for like middle of the day where it's not that busy. And then they just lock it down, get the shot, and then move yeah. on. Wow. Yeah, no, the that's that's just fun. Yeah. I didn't know that. Taylor, what else we got? What else we got in shit we won't care about? Oh, uh, scroll up, scroll up. I do want to talk about this. Scroll up. Um, scroll up to... Uh, Biden Supreme Court pick. Yes, they are. Uh, they're doing the confirmation hearings for Kentaji Brown Jackson. Yeah, uh, well, did y'all even know that we have a Supreme Court pick? Like, who yeah, died? I knew that. I knew who that. died, though? I knew that. Uh, well, uh, Stephen Breyer retired. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justice Stephen Breyer retired. So, uh, Katanji, am I pronouncing her name right? Katan- Katanji Brown Jackson, if confirmed, she'd be the first black woman to serve on the Supreme Court. Hey, listen, I've said it on Breakfast Club. I'll say it again here. I respect it. You know, it's history, but it's not something that is actually a move to save democracy Mm. because it's still a numbers game. There's still a 6-3 conservative majority on the Supreme Court. So if you really want to do something historic by an administration, Expand the Supreme nah, Court. Nah, 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 nah. Cut that shit out. Hey, that shit. Expand the Supreme Court and add four people there 
four, whether it's black women or just four people there that are, you know, a little more objective, a little more open minded to things. People that will actually make the court Humans. even because the mm -hmm. balance of power is still six, three conservative majority. So, but, you know, like I'm just curious. But if he adds more, don't you think the next Republican president will just add more? Add maybe. Yeah. But guess what? If you yeah. if you do what you're supposed to do to preserve democracy, you there in? might not ever be another Republican president. Yeah. Mm. Who's going to vote? Like what? What? What has Joe Biden done to make you us want vote an, for him? You want another Democrat president after what, this Biden administration? That's my point. What is Joe Biden? He's going to lose anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. They're going to get blown out in the midterms. Yeah. They're going to lose the presidential election. So you so might as well. Next? You Trump? need a Republican now. Nah, it's war. You need a Republican for war. These Democrats are pussies. I really think they're going to try to dr vote for Trump, Trump again, yo. Probably. Who you uh, really who want? Who fault is that? Who you really want yeah, for is. war? Whose fault is that? You're right. No, oh, like, if they vote for, if, they, if Trump runs in 2024 and he, he wins, won. whose fault is that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what Biden. I mean? yeah, That's what it. I'm saying. Yeah. Who's fighting for? Yeah. So it's like, whatever. You know, I just think that, you know, you got to do what you need to do in order to, number one, preserve democracy, and number two, win elections. Mm. You know how you win elections? By keeping campaign promises, by showing people that you got some balls and you're actually doing some things mm. that actually preserve mm. fucking democracy. Voting rights, where the fuck? There's no voting rights legislation. Mm. Like, what the fuck, man? Voting rights legislation, yeah. the cornerstone of democracy, you can't get nothing done on that? It's like, God bless. Yeah. God bless. God bless. But that, to me, those were the things, those four things Biden had to do to preserve democracy. Uh, expand the Supreme Court. Mm. Prosecute everybody involved with the coup on January 6th. Mm. Um, and I don't forgot the other two because I really don't even be giving a fuck like that anymore. Something for black people? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, protect voting rights. Voting rights legislation was the third one. Uh -huh. So that is definitely something for black people. And what was the fourth one? I can't remember right now. I don't recall what my fourth one was, but he's he's done nothing to preserve democracy. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So. This right here is like a waste of time. I think he's just done nothing at all. Yeah. But most of them do I nothing. I mean, he's done some things. I mean, if you ask Democrats, they'll tell you some things he can do, but it's like, <laughs> that ain't nothing you promised us on the campaign trail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I well, didn't get well, a PPP. George Floyd, George Floyd uh, Re Police Reform Act. Yeah. What happened? John Lewis Voting Rights Act. What happened? Yeah, they don't like, do anything. Like, None of them do anything. Yes, yeah, they bad. just get elected to be the one that lies to us, and then we get a new one every four yeah. years. And you can't. And, and and right now, what they're doing is revving up that. You know, this is the most crucial midterms in American history, <laughs> and democracy is at sure. stake. You have to go out there and vote like democracy is at stake. Well, you didn't govern like democracy is at stake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying. Listen. You didn't legislate like democracy is at stake. So mm -hmm. different times cause you first for different. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but different times cause for different leaders, man. Like, yeah. if it, if times are good and peaceful, like I want a Democrat in the office. I want someone who cares about everybody and tries to make life more equitable yeah, for everybody. Down. And like, man, that's a good point. No, I, I I truly want that. I want someone who's more empathetic, and I want someone who's trying to make life as as uh, reduce inconvenience to as many people as possible and try to lift up everybody, et cetera. When it's war, when it's potentially world war, I don't need I some think we fucking... World war III, no, I don't need no nice are, guy. I don't want some, some fucking Democrat talking about, we need to make all the Chick-fil-A bathrooms gender neutral. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, war, Dude, we at war. We at war. Yeah. I need some fucking psychopath I need a retard. at the helm. Yeah. You know what I'm I don't saying? know if I need a psychopath, but I need somebody who's ready because, like, right now, it's somebody like, got man, balls. I read an yes. article yesterday in the New York Post, and they was like, Russian elite are ready to overthrow Putin. I think that that could be some. I if that's what I would say, if he's I want, he's fucking up to, the money. Yeah, he's fucking yeah, up the bag. But he's got so much control that I don't know if, it, if somebody probably gonna end up trying to hit him up. They would, but it's like even if you hit him up, it's like you you then have to be able to control the people. That he controls. They got people. They, they name like four people they want to put in place. Ooh. Yeah, in, in the post, they name like three different people that they want to put in place already because what what people, I don't know if they realize it, I guess so many protests in Russia every day. Like they've been tired of that yeah, shit. Yeah, so, yeah. Oops, I can see that. Right now, you fucking the bag up. I, you know, I just. Because I guess the people are upset because the oligarchs are taking all the natural wealth out of the country, right? And they didn't really earn the rights to that wealth. They bought it for pennies on the dollar. So. Instead of the people, instead of all that gas money going to the people, instead of like all the timber going to the people, the aluminum going to the people, or at least more of it going to the people, it's just going to these extremely wealthy dudes. And then right. Putin gets a piece of everything that are going to them. And that's the deal he has with them. Mm -hmm. So basically it's like, okay, you want all the aluminum rights? Sure. You got to yeah. cut me off my little piece and I'll make sure that you're good. 
I just don't understand why we playing about these nukes. I know. Like Trump is out here like, yo, you know, Putin's throwing around the N-word. And mm. people think he's talking about was racial fire. slurs. Yeah, was <laughs> you fire. know what I mean? Was fire. It's like, yo, don't fucking was fire. undersell that. Yeah, with the hard R. Don't say like, yeah. what you mean the N-word? No, he's throwing out with the hard R. Yeah, like, but why are we playing with this? Nukes. He basically said, I got my nukes off safety. I, I read something the other day where they was like, he sent his family to a underground city in suburbia and he's already doing fucking yeah. nuclear yeah. evacuation. Just why are we playing with the, yeah. Yeah, the thought with this of this? Guy. Hit him up. That don't scare you? I know it does. Just when we got money, too. I got Just when we got shit. fucking money. Yeah. I'm out here blinging. You know what I mean? Like, this motherfucker want to destroy everything before I can go flex on these hoes. Hey, man, we be like, we, hey, we be like drug dealers. Yeah, we be in heaven like, yo, man, we balled when we balled, though. though. We had it, though, right? Now, now you got to go get some babies. It was a short it, run, man. but we balled. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, some what babies, else? babies, man. Go get mm -hmm. some babies. Do it. So, what else we got, Taylor? There you go. Uh, come, on, come on with that. We done with Corona. Yeah, we yeah, saw Fauci like on AIDS, TV today. I was like, get the fuck out of here, Fauci. On, Fauci's like the groundhog. You know what I mean? He about to pop up and ruin my spring. Yeah. <laughs> Two more weeks of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> spring is here, Fauci. All right? Yeah, fuck out of here, bro. You, now you're not putting this toothpaste back into YouTube. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let's, um, <laughs> let's do Asking Idiots. Hell yeah. Oh, responded. Oh, Arshan, if you could back, if you could, I guess you said, if you could go back to visit one historical era for a day, which one would it be? There was a funny uh, uh, Louis C.K. joke about like how he could travel back to any time in history mm -hmm. and black people can only go back to like the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, no, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, rough. it's rough for you <laughs> any time past the 80s. Yeah, but like what time? Well, now I guess you could go way back. With dinosaurs? I'm now, going like, 1990s New Jack Swing era. Ooh. That's where I'm going. I'm going to New York City when the cocaine was organic, okay? Yeah. And Teddy Riley was king. He's still king to me. But I'm going back to that era. Mm. I'm going back to when people was riding around in the goddamn Jeeps with no doors. I want to be in the club when Guy I Like first came out. Yeah. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, okay? and that makes sense because they still had air conditioning, like, all these people don't want to try and travel before air conditioning. It's like, yeah. fuck out of here, bro. Ain't nobody want to be in a castle man, when bro. it's 90 degrees. I saw this funny-ass tweet. Uh, somebody said, man, the motherfucker who invented deodorant was fed the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't take that it. Shit, he couldn't take that the shit. Fuck, the motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, when you think about that shit, that shit is true. No, soap shit. when it stays with you all day. That's all what I'm saying. Day long. Yo, yeah. soap. Toothpaste. toothpaste and deodorant. Somebody yeah, said, no, 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 no. Tissue, no. tissue, toilet uh, tissue. Toilet, oh, toilet tissue. These type of shit I, I appreciate. I appreciate yeah. all them type of yeah. shit. I appreciate yeah. the little things in life. Hygiene. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. funny, bro. They was fed the Fox fuck Fox and Jaws. Oh, the real Jacob Collins 95. This is a good one. Okay. Can you pour water on wax to see if his tight ass clothes will shrink and make him <laughs> suffocate? <laughs> I don't think I should be the one to do that. I think oh. since summertime is coming. I think somebody should just do it. Somebody should just run up on the <laughs> But you have to stand there after Stop. you do it. You're going to get after someone you hurt, bro. <laughs> You're going to get someone hurt just He's after you choke on and not do this shit. <laughs> yeah. Don't throw the water on him, though. Super soaker. Super soak that hole. You're going to pull up a on gun him. on wax. Run up on him with a super soaker, and just, especially in the summer, because he wears tight T-shirts in the summer. Mm. Hopefully wax don't have a super soaker on him, too. <laughs> Whoa. That sounds <laughs> dangerous. That sounds sexy. You might get yeah. wet. He's say like, what? He said you gonna skeet all over somebody. Oh, word! What'd you do? Skeet on me? I'll skeet on your back. Would you just you'll skeet on his back? That's what Wax said. Just make oh. sure I don't get too wet. Make sure they get wet more than I do. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking shit. about. Damn, that's bro! Good, Coil bro. up your ankles, let your Tim's tap, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the fuck I'm talking <laughs> about? What <laughs> 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 the <laughs> fuck was that line, bro? What just happened? I hope it was a rap. <laughs> what? I hope it was a rap of his. Yeah, like, <laughs> yo, where is that from? <laughs> 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 that LL Cool J flavor in your ear remix, man. God Oil damn, up your bro. ankles, let your Tim's tap. Oil up your ankles, let your Tim step. That sounds fucking great. <laughs> Dang. Oil up your legs and let your Tim What is going tap. on right now? <laughs> Why would I oil up my the hell out of goat, boy. My neck is crazy right now, <laughs> <laughs> yo, My neck is crazy right now, that shit is It's nice. glistening. That shit, that shit is glistening. nice, yo. I can't stop looking at that me. That shit nice, yo. <laughs> Have sex with your wife with the chain on and yo, the rolling. It's going down, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, this shit gonna be hitting me in my teeth. It's just us, cracking yo. my fucking. We out here. You guys say we out here. Yo, we out here, bro. 
we out here. So okay, we, we can uh, end on this question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let Wax answer this. Who Dre wants to know, why is Wax a tramp? Ooh. Now, let me re- let me read you the definition of tramp again, Wax. Yeah, because I don't know. Because words. <laughs> Hold on. Let me read you the definition of tramp again. The words you be saying earlier is why. Tramp. A person who travels from place to place on foot in search of work or as a vagrant or beggar. All right. I don't think that's me. I don't beg for shit. Work is women. That's true. That's true. That's not one. That's, I don't you travel that no from place to place. We used to travel a whole On lot. foot nope. in search of women. That's not true. Or as a vagrant or beggar. I'm not that guy no more. And, I, and back in the day, I wasn't even, you know, searching for women anyway. Only reason I, I was a whore is oh, no, women like me. I read the actual definition. I'm sorry. Okay, go to What does a tramp mean in slang? If someone calls you a tramp, they either mean they either mean you're a slut or a hobo. Each meaning comes from vagrant or wanderer and the low life behaviors associated with vagrants. Low life behavior. Slut. Huh? Now I mean I I used to be uh somebody that woman liked it a whole lot. Like you said, I lost it. I don't have it like that no more. Mm-hmm. Um only way a man could be a whore, slut, or a tramp, women have to make him that. A man can't just be that. You know what I mean? Men want to be whores and sluts and want to get pussy and they can't. So if a man is that, it's the woman's fault. So wow. I'm blaming it on the woman. Wow. You blame everything on women, That's yo. their fault. Wow. <laughs> wow. Are you telling me that you could be a whore without women? Well, listen, what if a bunch of women want you, but you don't sleep with them? you just like, nah, I'm cool. I'm, back it in takes the day, two to be a You're right, but guess what? Back in the day, if you told a woman no, something was wrong with you. Why? Because that was a thing. Back in the day, like, you told a woman no, what the fuck is wrong with you, boy? You got standards. Respect your penis, bro. Again, back in the day. Now I do. Now I think there was actually a thing that men actually could do. Mm-hmm. But back in the day, it was like a woman told you, come on. It's like, all right. Oh, you just thought you had to sleep. I thought I had to do it. Wow. I thought it was a thing. Wow. Andrew, you never thought that? Like a woman come out let you tell you she want to give you something. If you don't go give it to her, like what? something might be wrong with you, right? Yeah, you got to gaslight him. You got to hit him up. <laughs> you got to gaslight him, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? No, that's not what he... You know what? As always, <laughs> you listen to this podcast. <laughs> you think we're smart. You think we're uh, intelligent. You think we're brilliant. Uh, you're absolutely right. But you listen to this podcast uh, and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit. You're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs> this guy is so... <laughs>